welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a video based on this look and it is inspired by Jurassic Park uh, slash Jurassic World. Obviously I have to wear the Jurassic Park shirt. Don't know why I'm doing this. For those of you who do not know, Jurassic Park is my favorite movie of all time. It's one of those movies I can watch over and over and over and over and over again and never get tired of it. So with the new movie coming out, Jurassic World, I wanted to do a makeup inspired uh, by Jurassic Park and obviously wear it to the movies <laughs> because I'm a dork like that. <laughs> I wanted to do with the makeup look kind of based off the van from Jurassic Park, the one that's yellow and red and green. Uh, if you don't know it, I will link it somewhere on this screen so you can see what I'm talking about if you have not seen the movie. And it's really weird to know that there are some people out there who have not seen Jurassic Park. I have met them and it's a disgrace to mankind. Go see that freaking movie. I really hope that you enjoy this look. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Tell me what you think. Leave any uh, recommendations that you want to see. Whatever you want to see, I will do my best to make it happen. And also, thumbs up the video. Anyway, thanks. Bye. Alright, so I already have my foundation and my concealer and my cream contour and my eyebrows done. So we are just going to jump right into the eyeshadows. I will go ahead and zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's, that works. Okay, so the first shade that we're going to be using is going to be our transition shade. And what I'm using is going to be uh, Chickadee from Makeup Geek. It is right there. And I'm also going to be using uh, a NYX eyeshadow, and it's a bright yellow. It's a pretty bad name. <laughs> it's uh, shade STFU. So we're just going to mix those together. And we're going to add that to our crease. So just keep going back and forth with those shades until you build it up to the color that you're looking for. And we're focusing that more on the crease and a little bit above the crease. Alright, that's good. The next shade that we're going to go in with is just going to be a red eyeshadow. This is from NYX and it's one of their pressed pigments. It's, and it's in the shade... Uh, red hot and it's just a red eyeshadow. Then we're going to take that into the crease and a tad bit above the crease but not past that yellow orangey shade that we just laid down. Um, and I'm going to do that with a small crease brush. The fluffy brush, the one that we first started out with, and we're just going to blend those two shades together more. Deepen that red up a little bit more, I'm going to go in with more red, but I'm also going to go in with a black, and which is a regular black eyeshadow, it's also from NYX. Alright, the next shade is going to be the lid shade. It's going to be the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Golden Emerald. And it's just a really pretty sparkly emerald green shade. I'm taking that on a MAC 242 shader brush. It's just a flat uh, divider brush. And I'm going to spray that first so that uh, that eyeshadow will come off more intense on our, eye on our eyelid. Yeah. So we're applying that all the way, or all on our lid and uh, up to the crease, but not going past the crease. Alright, and now that that's all over our lid, we're just going to take a, uh, just a regular pencil brush and we're going to take a little bit of that red on there and we're just going to blend those two shades together. Looking good! So I just keep going back and forth, uh, adding more color on the lid and blending, uh, the crease shade in with the lid shade until you're happy with it. 
And just to add a little extra something to the green on that lid, so it's just now like one flat uh, green shade, I'm going to add a, um, a lighter sparkly green color. And this is from Makeup Geek. It's one of their foiled eyeshadows. And it's just a lighter shade green, and it's in the shade Jester. I'm just going to take my finger and dab it in there and apply it to the middle of the lid. I feel like it gives it an extra something. And for the eyebrow bone, I am going to use uh, two shades from Makeup Geek. It's going to be Vanilla Bean and Peach Smoothie. I'm just going to mix those two together and apply that to the brow bone. And whenever you apply your brow bone shade, if you apply the color like this and then you turn the brush on the side and then uh, blend it in, it mixes the brow bone shade in with that transition shade and makes everything uh, flow together seamlessly. Alright, next is a uh, winged eyeliner. I just did my winged eyeliner using the viewfinder. Alright, next I'm going to apply false eyelashes and I am going to be using uh, House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. Alright, I'm going to grab that uh, Red Hot pigment from NYX. And to deepen that red up a little bit, I'm going to grab a tiny bit of that black. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of that green. Then I'm going to tight line my eye using uh, the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color. And this is the one, this is the yellow one. Alright, next is mascara, and the mascara that I'm currently using is Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Alright, next I'm just going to take just a regular black um, pencil eyeliner, mine's from Maybelline. And I'm just going to go in into the lash line with this. It's going to just make it look more dark and thick in here. So I just went back in with a little bit more of that yellow on the tight line because I felt like the mascara kind of covered some of it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye and I will be back. Alright, so I am back. I just finished both of my eyes. I will zoom you in so you can see the finished eye look. We are going to do some scaled contouring. And the way that I accomplished it is uh, using fishnet stockings and just bronzer. So first we're going to bronze up the face a little bit. So I'm not gonna lie, the first time that I did do this, I had to have my boyfriend help me. Um, I had him hold the stocking like that as I stippled bronzer onto my cheekbones. Uh, but he's not here right now, so <laughs> we're gonna have to kind of try and work, try and work with it. So what I'm using for my bronzer, I'm using two different bronzers that are, that are a little too dark for me. It's from the Anastasia Contour Palette and I'm using these two darker shades, just mixing them together. And it did kind of slip a little bit down here. If that happens, just take uh, your foundation brush that has a little bit of foundation left over and just carve that out. 
all right and just continue to do that on the other contoured areas of your face like the other cheek and up the temples and on the forehead all right and if it looks a little too intense which right now it does you can just go over the bronzer you can go over the scales with like a lighter shade of powder and a big fluffy brush and it'll kind of lighten all that up alright so the contour is done the scale contour is done so now we are going to move on to lips so I'm going to line my lips with two different shades of red I'm going to use both of them are from NYX one is called red hot and the other one is cabaret that's not cabernet Cabaret. It'll be listed down below. <laughs> Imagine if I just looked it like this. Alright, and the lipstick that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Doll. Alright, next we are going to um, make our lip scales. So what I'm going to use to do the scales is obviously the fishnet, but also a MAC pigment in the shade Copper. It's just a copper shade. Okay, so we're just going to place that over our lips like this and we're just going to pick up the pigment with a brush and just stipple it on. I'm telling you now because I won't be able to talk while I'm doing it. Just like that. It actually came out looking really good. <laughs> okay, and obviously don't forget to set your makeup. The setting spray that I am currently using is the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's my favorite. And my hair, it's not up for discussion. Okay? Okay. Um, ugh, um, stop saying um. Give me any comments that you would like. What? <laughs> Some scale card. Scaled. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Stop it! Stop it! No! Stop! Stop recording!